Are you struggling with wrinkles on your forehead? If so, I want to break it down to you. I have some treatment options that are going to be amazing. Wrinkles on your forehead are normal. It's part of the aging process. But if you want to correct them, I'm going to teach you a little bit about some anatomy and what those treatment options are. So one thing that you want to understand is that there are about five layers to the face. We have what we call the epidermis. So that's layer number one. If I were to peel that off, we get to the dermis. If I were to peel that off, we get to some a fat layer. Then we get to the muscles and then followed by your skull. So right now we're going to be talking in layer number four because layer number four, which are all the facial muscles of expression, are what causes wrinkles. And wrinkles are normal. So if you want to keep them, keep them. But sometimes it looks good when you actually relax those muscles so that way you don't have to have those wrinkles. So if you are noticing that you have wrinkles across your forehead, that is due to what we call the frontalis muscle. So this right here is the frontalis muscle. Muscle, and that helps you raise your eyebrows just like this. But if you're noticing that you're getting number 11s here, which is right over here, that's due to this complex right over here, which is your corrugators and your glabella muscles. And that's like this, because that's pulling or depressing your eyebrows. So one easy solution that only takes about five to 10 minutes to perform in the office is to consider doing a neuromodulator. So what's a neuromodulator? That is an injection of a toxin, whether it's Botox or Dysport, Daxify, Javo, Xeomin, those are the approved neuromodulators in the US market. And you would inject them strategically into your front talus muscle here or into your corrugator glabellar complex just so those areas or those muscles can become more relaxed and give you more of a natural aesthetic.